To stało setki, tysiące lat było to jezioro tutaj. I teraz nagle wszystko ginie. Ja miałem takie długie buty kiedyś, też takie do tu. Chodziłem no. tu. Tam był gdzieś taki kamień, tam było można daleko rzucać. Na Ale widać, tu się coś dzieje, tu, tu jest trochę życia w tym jeszcze. W tych takich miejscach, gdzie te liście nie zakryły wszystkiego, nie? Bo tak to one się wszystkie te ryby poduszą, to, to już nie dochodzi żadnego tlenu nie ma. Najlepiej mieć tylko taką łódkę, taką małą łódkę i tą łódką można pływać po tym, nie? Wtedy tam, gdzie jakieś miejsce jest, próbować. Z drugiej strony był taki czysty brzeg, a teraz to wszystko takie to jasno-zielone, co jest, co jest przed tymi trzcinami, takie to wszystko bagno się robi, wiesz? Wszystko zarośnie, będzie bagno i nie będzie wiele. Wszystko zarośnięte tak, że aż przykro patrzeć na to. somehow everything feels different but at the same time it kind of doesn't. I actually feel like that right now. I am currently sitting on a bench in Poland in the middle of nowhere more or less in the area where my, my family is still living, where my parents grew up in, where I had my grandmother uh, living, where I spent a very large amount of my childhood in and I haven't been here for I don't know eight years maybe even ten years and this here is the first time coming back after a long long time and oddly enough so much has changed there's new buildings everywhere old buildings are you know torn down there's new streets uh, new new shops everything is different but at the same time nothing has changed and I just feel like the exact same things that I felt when I was a child playing on this playground here <laughs> as a child and walking through the small paths and breathing in the kind of air and listening to the insects in the grass and that hasn't changed but so much around it has changed and whew, honestly it's, it's a lot to handle right now and I feel like the only way to process all these feelings and thoughts and emotions is to go out and shoot so I'm here to do exactly that Yeah, the um, only two cameras I brought, by the way, are cameras that I feel I have the most emotional connection to, which kind of makes sense for, for a trip like that. So I brought my Leica M6 and um, a Polish plastic camera, which was actually the very first camera that my father got when he attended his first communion, which is called the Synchro Druch. And yeah, I guess I'm done sitting here making, I don't know, philosophizing about the world and change and all that and I guess it's time to go out and take some images so yeah, if you want, join me and talk to you later. So I don't know what this video is going to be exactly. I don't know if this is going to be just about this day that I'm spending here or if it's going to be about the whole trip or if it's going to be something completely else. I think this will shape a bit later. But for now, I feel like it's uh, it made sense to sit down and kind of process my own thoughts uh, for the moment because I just remembered that I had a camera when I was here the last time which was around the I think I was around 17 or 18 so it must have been like almost 10 years 
and I remember that I was drawn to so many different things than the things that I'm drawn to today when I was taking pictures. I feel like the things that really interest me are the things from the past and all the emotional spots that I have a connection with, like the, the house my, my grandma used to live, the street that I was walking to when I went uh, to the small little shop to, to get some groceries or the, the place that we had bonfires in and all these places are the ones that interest me today and it's just kind of interesting how perspective changes as we get older. Yeah, I think I'm gonna continue to take pictures of old things now and things that probably nobody understands because they're just for me and maybe my family but nobody else will kind of see the same things in them as I'm seeing and maybe that's important as well you know because for, for at, at least when when you have a channel like that and you take photos you sometimes of course think about what's interesting for people what people want to see and think about like interesting subjects interesting compositions and i think this one will be very different because i think the interesting thing in in the images uh, that i will probably hopefully will be taking in here are not visible this is probably not interesting for anybody because it's just a random house a random forest a random something but it's interesting for me and i guess um, we shouldn't forget that to do those personal projects to do the photography that interests us that means something to us even though it might not be interesting or representative to others yeah that's it i'm gonna stop talking now Hast du noch einen Apfel genommen? Ludzie nie ma. Zwierzęta mogą tu być. Sarny mogą być. Lisy. Dziki mogą być. Dziki Myśmy tu przyjechali, ten pierwszy moment, to ani auta nie słychać, ani żadnych wrzasków, ani żadnych głosów. Jeszcze jest tak ładno i cicho, cicho jak zawsze było, nie? Ja, yeah, cicho jest. 